everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this hanging organizer. You can use these to store your file folders or other notes that are important to you. All of the cutting instructions are listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. So all you need to do is scroll down to that section, click on show more and scroll down some more and you'll see the links. Okay, let's get started. Take all of your pocket pieces and you're going to trim the sides off at a diagonal. So I'm gonna put my ruler one and a half inches in from this bottom corner over one and a half inches and then put the other end of the ruler up here in the top corner. So you're gonna go down at a diagonal. And then you're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing. After you've cut the sides off, then you're gonna take a lining piece and a piece for the outside, and you're gonna bring front sides together. And then on this shorter edge, right here, this shorter edge here, you're going to stitch a half inch seam all the way down this way. After you finish stitching, then press this seam on the back side, then open it up, fold it over to where your um, outside pieces or the outside of the fabric is showing, and then press this edge up here. Take your interfacing piece, and I have the glue side up, and I'm going to have it facing up this way so that when I close this, it's going to be fused onto the fabric that's for the outside. Then go back to your ironing board and fuse it on. Follow package instructions. It's a very simple process. Take your three strips of fabric that are two inches wide by 15 and a half inches long, and you're gonna do this next step at your ironing board. You're gonna fold your fabric in half, bringing the two edges together and press all the way down. Then open it up and take each side and press it in towards the center, but don't have them overlapping, don't have the edges overlapping, and press all the way down. Then you're going to fold it over, let me flip it to the other side. You're gonna fold the edges together, except you wanna stay back from the edge just a little bit. So this top side is, a, is not folded all the way over to the other edge of the other side. And it, there's a, a purpose for that. Take that strip and you're going to fold it over the top edge of your pockets. And you want to make sure that that edge that was just not pressed all the way over to the other side is on top. So if you look here, you can see it comes up a little bit higher than the bottom side edge. So that when you stitch this down, you will catch that bottom side. So you want to stitch real close here all the way across. I've just finished stitching it on so you can see on the top side I stitched really really close but then on the back side you can see it did catch the bottom edge. If you have anything left over on the ends just go ahead and trim them off. You'll need three pieces of vinyl that are two and a half inches by four inches. Then you're also going to need three pieces of fabric cut larger than your vinyl. And I'm using my lining fabric. And we're creating the file folder labels. So I'm going to place it on top and you're going to have excess fabric sticking out past all the edges. Then uh, select your zigzag stitch on your machine and kind of tighten up the link just a little bit on it and then do a zigzag stitch around all four edges. This next step you can either use a pair of scissors or a seam ripper. I found it really easy to use the seam ripper. So you've got the back of it up. So here's my vinyl side. 
turn it over to the back side. And what you want to do is trim this uh, fabric here in the back. So I first want to put a hole in it. So I'm going to go in about an inch from where the zigzag stitch is and just poke it and go across. Then you're going to go to the corner or start at the corner like this and poke it or rip it to, like that. So you're going to go to all of the corners and do this, putting a hole right in there and stitching. And then do your last edge. Now take a pair of sharp scissors. Uh, use small scissors. It's going to be a lot easier because the uh, blades are a little bit thinner and you'll be able to get in closer to uh, turn it uh, to cut it off. So now you're going to take it, bend the zigzag edge underneath. So I've got it like this. All right. And then take your scissors and go ahead and trim all of this off. After you have the fabric cut off in the middle, then go out to your outside edges and also trim the excess fabric off out here. And you should have three of these labels made. Now center your label, it's a label holder I should say, on the top edge of your uh, file folder holders. And you're going to be about a half inch down from your little strip of fabric here. You're only going to stitch on three edges. So stitch right down the middle of your zigzag stitches here, across, and back up. And make sure you back stitch up here several times. So when you are done, you should have three pockets completed. Take your large piece of outside fabric that is 13 by 26 inches and on the back side you're going to fuse your interfacing on. Again, follow package instructions. Lay your fabric for the back down and then take your front fabric and place it on top. You should have an inch of fabric sticking out on all four edges. Then take one of your pockets and you're going to place the top edge of the pocket about one and a half inches from the top edge of your outside fabric, front fabric right here. And go ahead and pin it across the bottom. Now don't worry about these edges that are sticking out. Those are, will be addressed later. So after you've got it pinned, then stitch close to the bottom edge all the way across. Place the next pocket on and overlap it over the previous pocket, the one up at the top. So you want to overlap it about one and a half inches. And then again, stitch it down along the bottom edge. Take the next pocket and do the same thing. And your last pocket is lined up at the bottom edge right here. And then again, stitch this one down. Now you're going to pin the pocket sides down. So start here at the top edge and line it up on the edge of your fabric here on top, not with the bottom fabric on the back. And go ahead and pin it down. And you're going to continue that all the way down to the bottom edge of the pocket. Then take your next pocket and overlap it bring this edge in, line it up along the edge there, and pin it down. And continue that process all the way down to the bottom edge. Then you're going to stitch, oh, about a quarter of an inch seam, anywhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch seam, all the way down to the bottom edge. Then when you're done with that side, go over to your other edge and do the same thing. So when you're done, it should look like this on the front. Now we're going to stitch the sides with the fabric from the back overlapping over to the front. So you're going to take your two longest edges first and do those. So at your ironing board, fold your fabric in 
to the raw edge of the fabric here on top and press. Then fold it again, fold it over and press all the way down. Then stitch close to this edge all the way down. Repeat the process for the bottom edge and the top edge. So again, you fold it over once and press, fold it over again and press. And in case I didn't mention before, I like to use these clips because it's much easier to hold it down. Then you're going to stitch close to this edge all the way across. So this is what your edges should look like at this point. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to put the little hanger part on it so that you can hang it on your wall. So again you have your 2 inch wide strip. I had you cut it 24 inches long but you can actually cut it shorter. So you want to fold this just like you did the other previous pieces, strips like this. So you fold those edges in and press, fold it again and press. Then you're just going to stitch it closed all the way down. I cut my uh, strip down to about 15 inches long. Like if, You can leave it longer if you like. And flip it over to the back and you're going to go about three inches from your outer edge in and about one inch down from the top edge. And go ahead and clip it. And you do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to stitch kind of a little square pattern. You're going to stitch across here and leave your needle down through your fabric, turn your fabric, and then stitch across back up towards the top edge. Always leave the needle down, that way you don't lose your position. Stitch across and then back down again. And do that several times and you do it on both ends. So when you're done, as you can see, I've got this little square or rectangular shape area right there. And then this is what it looks like on the back. Well, here it is. It's all done. And I think it really turned out nice. And it is very functional. Didn't take a whole lot of time. This is something you can definitely make in a day. You don't need to worry about it being a week-long project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try this project. This is one of those things that's going to really help you organize your sewing space. If you're interested in other projects in which you can use them to organize your sewing space, those items or links will be listed below your YouTube screen. You just scroll down to the description section, click on show more, it'll expand it open more and you'll be able to see those links. Also, there'll be other beginner sewing projects listed below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.